project share and also a little bit of a tip with using Nuvo Drops. And so uh, back in 2018, I created a bunch of Christmas cards using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and it's called the Christmas Squad. And I just think this stamp set is adorable. I love the little dog and the cat and then there's also the Santa Claus Christmas tree and the gingerbread. And uh, so I ended up stamping a ton of these out with some black ink and coloring them with some markers. And uh, I had a whole bunch of these left over from that project in 2018. So when 2019 came around, um, I kind of waited too long to make Christmas cards. And right after Thanksgiving, I got sick and I was pretty much sick through the entire rest of, that, of the year. And, uh, but I still wanted to work on something homemade for Christmas a little gift that I could give friends and family. And so I decided I would make some Christmas tags just using up the leftovers from when I had made my Christmas cards. And uh, when I was going through and looking at these uh, different little um, cutouts that I had, I used this glossy accent on here. And I guess it got a little yellow. It looks, I don't know if you could tell from the camera. It actually, I think looks worse in person than it does I think on the video, but um, I didn't really like the way it looked. It kind of looks funky. And so I thought, well, how could I fix that so that I can use all these little, I had Santa Clauses and dogs and cats and all the hats I had used the glossy accents. Now where I use the glossy accents on the Christmas tree to kind of, uh, you know, I use it on the star and also on the Christmas ornaments. That looks really cool. It looks really cute. But where I use it on the white, it just looks kind of yellow. So um, I'm not sure why that happened or if that's just, I'm not really sure why it did that. But I think in the future, I might uh, not use the glossy accents on top of white because you can really tell that it's kind of yellowed. So I did make uh, a bunch of tags. And uh, if you want to stick around to the end, I'll flip through some of the tags that I made, these different tags, if you wanted to see the different ones that I have here. But for this video, what I want to do is just go ahead and fix these little characters. And I just have a few of them to do. Now I'm going to use some Nubo Drops. And I keep my Nubo Drops in this uh, slim project case. And I will leave a link in the description below where you can get this project case. And uh, I think this is just so awesome to store uh, stickles and Nuvo drops and I store all kinds of things in this uh, project case. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my white Nuvo drops from here. And I actually have a couple of whites. I have two in here. The other thing that's really cool about this case is I store it in my um, Calyx uh, unit in a Lightman box. And I store it this way so that all of the bottles are upside down. And uh, let me go ahead and set that aside. I have a video where I shared how I created the insert for that project case. And I will put a link to that video in the description as well if you're interested in checking that out. So I'm going to go ahead and just take one of these tags. And I know that when you use Nevo Crystal Drops, if you make that too thick or you make it on too large of an area, it can actually crack and you can get cracks in it. But um, I think what's going to help here is I already have dimension with the glossy accents. So really all I want to do is change the color. And so I'm just going to go ahead and um, spread this out. And I'm just going to do like a motion like this. And I'm just going to put a layer. And it almost to me makes it look like fur. You know, like a fur hat. Okay, I also have a little bit here where the sleeves are and then also the bottom of his coat. And then once you get that on there, I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry. But just as a before or after, you can kind of see the difference. Here is the one with the Nevo drops. And then here's the one with only the glossy accents. And uh, so I kind of think that Putting the Nuvo Drops on there kind of gave it a new life and makes it look so much better than with the glossy accents. So when I did these gifts for Christmas, um, 
I just took a set of five or ten or however many I had. I kind of divided up however many I was going to make. I wanted to do some kind of a cute packaging, but I just didn't have the time. I was, I barely could get this accomplished because uh, I was feeling so bad during the during the month of December. It was a really rough time for me. So um, I think I would do this again, and I would like to come up with some kind of a cute way to package these uh, little gift tags. I think this is also an awesome gift to give somebody in your family or your friends before Christmas so that they have an opportunity to use these tags for, um, you know, doing when they're giving gifts to other people. And so I did actually, um, I have a group of ladies that I get together with that um, we call it craft night. It's Tuesday craft night. And I was able to see them probably about a week before Christmas. And I gave them uh, some of these tags. So I think it's really a cool way to kind of share something homemade and a quick and easy project for you to do. And I'm not being too careful with the <laughs> with the way that I'm doing this. I'm just uh, putting it on there. I think it's kind of looks kind of cute because it's messy and it makes it look more like fur. I'm not being too careful with how I put it on. The only bad thing about these Nuvo drops is that it does take some time for it to dry. So I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. While I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and fix this Christmas card. And I'll probably send this Christmas card out to someone next year. I'm hoping that maybe I will get time this year. Maybe I should put that on my list of projects and maybe start that in July instead of waiting until the end of the year because then I run out of time and I stress myself out trying to get my Christmas projects done. And, uh... I'm just going to do that really quick on the dog as well. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and if you would like to see more videos please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye now.